even the best winemakers here are going to tell you that growing grapes in Quebec is a struggle, but apples, we got apples. And we're going to go visit uh, La Face Cachée de la Pomme, uh, which is one of the pioneers, especially of the ice cider industry. Look at those apples. Ooh, I'm going to have to steal a few to eat. Whoa, Francois. Hey, good morning, Bill. How you doing? Very well. How was the drive? Excellent. Beautiful, good. dude. Beautiful. You, know, you couldn't have chosen a better morning. I know, here. and those apples look delicious. They're ready to be picked. Can we do a little, uh, little walk in Hungary? Sure. These are max. Yeah, they're still pretty small, and they're not done yet. They look, they look really good. Yeah, and behind you, we have a parcel of uh, Fuji. We got about seven apples that hang on the tree. Okay. Uh, until the middle of the winter. And those are destined for the winter harvest uh, neige. Okay. Yeah, that's only made with apple harvest between Christmas and end of January. And they stay on the tree, and that's the, the yeah, secret. Yeah, it, it all depends on the year. Like, like uh, in three weeks from now, we're gonna when we start to pick the, those apples, I will taste them with my winemaker. We'll try to uh, get the perfect balance. Okay. The first technique that was developed is the most used, like the Creo concentration. Okay. Which means we harvest the apple before they fall. Yeah. We keep them in cold storage until about Christmas. And then one morning you hear on the news that uh, CAA had 3,000 calls in the morning because it's minus 1,000 outside. That's when you head out. Yes. The right. Yes, I'm okay. the only guy happy here. <laughs> the other technique, winter harvest. Yeah. Creo extraction. I mean, I leave the apple on the tree and they will freeze, bake, they concentrate right there on, on, on the tree. It's sort of like uh, ice wine, the same principple that it freezes yeah, that's, on that's freezes. That's exactly the same, same, yeah. same principle. And those apples are harvested in January. Okay, Come but on. I'm hungry and I want to eat one, so what's the best apple to eat right now? Wow, we're going to go try a Geneva. I'm not sure you're, you're going to like it, but it's an experience. <laughs> and you, what do you use Geneva for? For a rosé cider. Ah, and that's it's hot. It's the yeah. only apple that the flesh is pink. Try this. Wow. Whoa! Huh? Oh, that's good. Mm. That's really cool. I've never seen an apple like that. It is juicy. So that's the secret to your rosé. I didn't know that. Yeah. Breakfast of champions. Holy I like fun. apples like I like my wine, you know? Nervous, edgy. To make ice wine, yeah. it takes a hell of a lot of apples to make one glass well, or one bottle. Well, it takes about uh, 80 apples to make one half bottle. So here, Bill, I have three... Well, they're great press. Yeah, it's like a basket a press, right? Basket press, regular yeah. old basket press that we use to uh, press, squeeze our frozen apple. Right? Yeah, when, once, when you're finished, the apple is almost intact. It's a bit square. That's it. Really? It's like an ice cube. Okay. And after that, you can't do anything with those apples? Or? We feed the deer. <laughs> those are a barrel of our Neige Noir. What? Neige Noir is our Mistel. It's the only ice cider that ferment and age for one year in this oak barrel. Cool. I don't think and I've ever tried it. And so what does the oak give to the, the product? The, the oak kind of round off the acidity. Okay, so it's a little smoother. Exactly. That's true, you don't have that eek mm. acidity. It's just, it's really, really smooth. And you get a little bit of barrel there. So, Bill, remember the apple you just tried, the Geneva apple? Yeah. Well, this is what it does okay, well, let's, when it's finished. Let's see if it drinks You like as well the apple. It eats, yeah. It's Cheers. perfect, it's fresh. Okay, so Geneva. Geneva, 100%. Oh, that's great because it's not sweet. I make ice cider that's sweet, yeah. but beside that, I like my, my wine crisp and fresh. And so great, so not everything in cider world is sweet. And what's the, uh, what's the other one you got? The other one, Bulle okay. de Neige, and uh, that's 100% Mac. Okay, so last time you showed me this special way of, sp of pouring the Degel. Now explain why. It's a technique to oxygenate the, the cider. Aside from just looking really cool. Yes. Go like this. Okay. And I'm supposed to look at you. Good. Whoa! And the tradition is what? You kiss it. We got about uh, 10,000 visitors a year. Wow. We're only 40 minutes south of Montreal. Okay. Well, thanks very much. That was hey, fantastic. You're Great more to than see welcome. You again. And come back. Oh, yeah. As I always do. All right. Okay. Enjoy the ride. See you, man.